Hi, welcome to this uh, QuickBooks video. We are still on our series of using QuickBooks in the ag industry. And uh, the last video we talked about budgeting in QuickBooks using the budget feature to set up budget for, uh, for the entire operation, for a particular location, could even be used for crop. In this video, we want to look at another way to budget for crop that I think is better and I, I think is a lot easier and uh, less time consuming to set that up. If you're, if you have followed any of these as, as we have been posting them, a couple of videos ago, we talked about creating a customer job in QuickBooks for a crop, uh, what I would term as a project and tracking costs and income in that way. There's some advantages to that. We set up items for that and so forth. A crucial part of doing that, using that method, was setting up our crops as customers. So you can see we have a corn here as a customer, and then our each crop here would become a sub-customer or a job or project underneath that customer. So I have here set up as a customer job our corn crop for 2018. And I have here an estimate form, and this is the key to setting up a, a crop budget using this procedure. Now, if you don't see estimates in your QuickBooks uh, file, it could be that you don't have that turned on. To do that, I would go to the Edit drop-down menu, Preferences, <clears throat> and in this Jobs and Estimates category right here, I would go to Company Preferences and be sure that this question right here, do you create estimates, was answered yes. As long as we've got that, then we should have access to the estimate form. Well, here's the estimate I've created for this particular crop and crop year. This is not complete, but I put a few lines in here so you can kind of see how this works. So supervision, um, how much the water was going to cost, how much the seed was going to cost, how much I thought it was going to cost me in labor to uh, handle the irrigation and so forth. And these are costs. You see it in the cost column. That's the one I'm interested in. QuickBooks fills the amount column on its own. We're not really interested in that. This is the column that we're interested in is the cost column. So again, Here's why we have to have items instead of accounts. If you're not familiar with that, you want to go back and watch that other video on setting up crops as projects. And so each of these is, a, is an item, and I have a cost amount. What I think it's going to cost over the course of the growing year uh, in order to produce this crop. Another thing I should point out is that when it's time to sell the crop, you know, often we uh, will just create a deposit transaction quick rich. Don't want to do that. Again, this is mentioned in the other video. We want to create a sales receipt for that. Okay, so how does that help us as far as uh, budgeting goes? If I go to the reports drop down menu, jobs, time, and mileage, I can look at a job estimates versus actuals detail. I pick the customer and job I want to look at. I want that corn crop for 2018, right? I click OK, and here's my report. So what was the estimated cost? $12,000. What was the actual cost? $11,049.36. So you see that QuickBooks is tracking each one of those line items as we go down the different com cost components for producing this crop. And will tell me on each one, you notice here are the ones that were not on the estimate. I didn't include, I didn't go all the way through the estimate and estimate all of the costs, but the actual costs are in the sample file. And so they, here, here they are showing up in the, um, the actual column. And then QuickBooks will do the math and show us the difference. Now, this is really the side that we're interested in right here estimated cost, actual cost, and the difference. You can see those numbers coming out on the revenue side, which really don't make sense for us because they're, they're uh, 
We're not going to get revenue for those uh, individual line items. We're using this so that we can budget our costs and then compare to the actual results. Now, there are some advanced things that we could go through to uh, tweak this report and so forth to get those numbers off of there. I'm not sure that's really all that important. The main thing is that you have a budget here when you're using that, that project methodology for tracking uh, crop costs, you have, by the use of an estimate, the ability to create a budget, and then easily you have a report here that will show you, that will compare the actual results uh, to that budget. So, I hope that's helpful. That's an idea that you might want to play around with. I think, it's, uh, I think it works great myself. Um, hope that's useful to you. Thanks for watching.